life can come at us 120 miles an hour and walking the righteous path is far from easy and discouragement can find us accidentally. Before you know it, you're underwater, saying, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. And life can serve so much pain in your relationship that you wish you would have never met your significant other just to be spared your pain. And no one is coming to save you. No one. Discouragement can also find us intentionally. It preys on our setbacks. It preys on our sinful ways. of our own free will. Ah, the warrior of integrity, I presume. Oh, don't worry. We'll put that name to the test. Let me jog your memory of the pain you've afflicted. The pain you've afflicted. will hurt you more than me. Feel the pain you've afflicted upon others. Hold still. Rule number one when it comes to being a hero. Save me some. What? Save me some! We must be able to save ourselves before saving anyone else. How do we defeat discouragement, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. Appreciation. Appreciation for life. Because we never know when we tell our loved ones good morning, that could be our last. Ever since we were kids, and right now, right now, I need you the most. I need you to wake up, man. I can't lose you too, T. When life comes at you at 120, remember, you're at your strongest when you're at your weakest. Because now you rely on the power that God gives you. A second chance. <laughs> we could all use one of those. In fact, that's what we have right now. So what are we doing with it? Remember who we're fighting for. Our loved ones. Stay on the path. Remember your purpose. I gotta go. The way of the warrior relies on the power 
that God gives him. So every day that we have breath, remember, God is not done with us. Not yet. Not yet.